So ever since the Bee Queen crown came into existence way back when, players have been attempting to abuse it, either by using tree guards or by using rabbits or planting a bunch of flowers and turning them into evil flowers. People tried to acquire a massive area of sanity auras that can be reversed by the Bee Queen crown to create a sanity station, thus allowing the player to have control of their sanity, topping it off or going insane really quickly to farm fuel. Back then, Wendy was able to create a massive field of evil flowers. However, this was changed during the Wendy refresh and replaced by the cistern. But now, old school sanity stations are back. For a long time now, there was not really a way to reach the sanity gains that the old sanity station would provide. But now with some research and study, a new sanity station method has emerged and it involves birds. Birds. birds will give us the secret to maximum sanity gain. How will they do this? Well, birds have a unique aspect to them that no other creatures in the game has. That being, they don't have collision with each other or the player. This means you can put a bunch of birds in one area right on top of each other. While this does sound seemingly useless, this attribute applies to all birds, including the ones found during the Moonstorm event. These birds are important because they have a negative sanity aura to them. And since birds don't have collision with each other, this means we can stack these sanity auras in one place creating a mega sanity aura. In order to do this, we must first catch these birds. To catch these birds, you need to have the standard grass trap, and I recommend collecting only the crows instead of the robins, because the robins can ruin all the work that goes into creating the station. Once you've collected these birds, you can place them in a 4x4 wall area with the inside not filled in, and the birds are too big to fit inside anything smaller. I recommend putting this near the ocean, because with this you can create a flingo repeater. To do this, you build a boat on the ocean and place a fire pit as close to the edge of the boat as possible. Row the boat as close to land as possible and place a flingo at max range from the center of the fire pit. When the flingo extinguishes the fire pit, place two rudders on the boat and turn on the rudders. This will cause the structures on the boat to rotate, meaning the fire pit will exit and enter the range of the flingomatic. Turn on the fire pit and you'll see the flingo will constantly fire a snowball, but the fire pit will not be extinguished. You can use this to safely stack your mutant birds in the freezing area and start to build your sanity station. Place your walls and your gate and while you're inside, start dropping the birds when the fire pit is coming close. Because if you don't, the birds will end up attacking you. Once all that is done and set, you are ready with your sanity station. This can get a bit laggy when there is more than 100 birds there, but 20 to 40 birds provides a rather fast sanity drain, as each bird provides a negative aura of 25. That means 20 birds gives you a negative 500 aura, and 40 gives you a negative 1000 aura. Cut that in half for the positive aura with the Bee Queen Crown and you'll be gaining a lot of sanity. It's rather funny that this has the exact same powers as the original Evil Flower Sanity Station. Poor sanity is just a stat that never gets a break. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all get to add this to your bases. Let me know if you do, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and for more DST tricks and unique information. Till next time, this has been Terra and take care.